Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Crane Lake Stories. My name is Matt Addington. Just thank you again for coming by and checking out uh, what we've been putting out here. It's been really fun connecting with lots of folks um, from lots of different walks of life, all having some sort of tie to this special place in the world. And this week's episode is kind of a mishmash from a recent visit up to Crane Lake where I had an opportunity to talk to several different people who have lots of different ties to the area. Some, uh, one of the girls that you are gonna hear from, she's only been at Crane Lake for two days and another one of our guests has been coming to Crane Lake for 58 years. So we've got kind of, we covered the entire gamut this week with people who have a story and some sort of affinity with this special place. So enjoy some short conversations with some people as they tell their Crane Lake story. I'm, I'm Nikki Vandervoort, it's my husband, Corey. Um, we've been coming out, or we're from Angora. Minnesota. Right now that's where we live. We're originally from Virginia, but we've been coming up here for uh, 10, ten years? years, about 10 years. And we come up, we camp, we fish um, all weekend. Our daughter started doing this with us and now she comes from Duluth and she comes up. It's one of her favorite trips awesome. every year. Do you guys stay at Hamburg's every time or have you moved around? Uh, we started staying here about what, five years ago, yep. six years ago. Um, we were staying with his friend. A friend has a cabin on the lake. And okay. then we got the RV and nice. started RVing instead. Nice. Uh, do you have any uh, top secret fishing spots or fishing tips you want to share with us? Jig in a minnow. <laughs> Shallow water. <laughs> it's as deep as I go. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, good luck and thanks for sharing. Yeah. Uh, my name's Isa. I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area. And you've been at Crane Lake for how long, Isa? Two days. Two days. <laughs> what? So. Number one, I just asked you, like, what in the world are you doing here? And how did you get here? What's the story of, like, what got you here? Well, I was uh, searching around for something to do seasonally. And I found this place, sent them an email, and then I had a, a phone interview with Scott and Lori. And they were just the nicest people I'd ever talked to. So I figured I should give it a try. Unbelievable. Yeah. So uh, two days in, what's what are your impressions of Crane Lake and Hamburgs and nicest North Country, Minnesota? Nicest people on the planet. Um, yeah. It's been pretty great. It's been really lovely. Flies are killing me, but that's pretty much my only complaint. That, yeah. that go with the, that'll go with the territory. And they come yeah. and go throughout the summer. Um, so what uh, like what expectations did you have leaving California and like going to the absolute north country of Minnesota? I definitely knew it would be different. Um, but I, I kind of like different. I like to pop around and try new things. Uh, unlike most people, I don't leave California because I hate it or anything. But, um, you know, go meet some different kinds of people, do some different kinds of stuff. Um, but I came in with very little information. I kind of just packed my bag and came here. So, so yeah. Awesome. It's been interesting. That's a one of the all-time unique Crane Lake stories. But uh, enjoy your time. Good to have you here. And we'll maybe catch up later this summer. Yeah. Uh, my name is Steve, and uh, I've been coming up to Crane Lake for 58 years. Um, and my favorite story is my, my dad and I and our families have been coming up here for many years, obviously. And uh, uh, he passed away a couple years ago. And what I did was I took a, a, a log that had been cut, and I burned his name in it. And it is up on what we call the rock, which is our favorite fishing spot. Awesome. So. Cool. Um, do you have any great memories of in the past 58 years? Uh, awesome fishing story. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. You oh, got any was, you can share? Matter of fact, just last year, just last spring, my middle son, Christopher, and I came up here just for the day. And uh, at the end of the day, I pulled in a 25 pound northern. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. So there's all sorts of stories like that up here. Awesome. You just got to get up here and make them. Yeah, it's a pretty special place that it way, is. isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Um, what? Uh, how about a favorite memory, like when you were, when you were, you know, generationally, mm -hmm. you know, fishing with your dad, or an experience you had camping? Uh, oh, you know? yeah. I guess the biggest memory is when years ago we were going across Sandpoint Lake on opener fishing, and it was snowing sideways. My mom, my two sisters, my dad, and I were in the boat. And we were going wide open throttle and a rod blew on the motor and sent us, you know. So we had to use the kicker motor to drive all the way back to Hanburg's and John Sanborn, who, you know, owned the place, sold my dad a new motor. And off we went. Wow. 
So awesome. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Uh, Pete Coggin. Um, I married into the Crane Lake family. So Crane Lake until last year when we got locked out of Canada has been kind of a base camp, if you will, that we spend most of our time up in Lac La Croix. Uh, but last year when we were forced out of Canada, we bought this place and um, we're, I was personally pretty amazed that I've driven by everything here for 25 years. It's like I went into the gorge and did the walk and was like, how have I not been here for the last 25 years? So we've really kind of um, very excitedly jumped out of the Canadian only camp um, into the very happy to call Crane Lake are sort of yeah. primary. You said your wife is a fourth generation Crane Laker yep. and yep. you so kind of married into it, which is good. Johnson too. Martini family and uh, yeah, I married into it, but uh, yeah, um, they're all from Orr and Virginia mm -hmm. and Duluth and... Uh, how is it? How has it captured you through your marriage and through this time? I, I guess I was just a natural. I mean, I, I got a boat ride up the river um, with my wife for the first time 26 years ago this summer. And I was hooked before we even got to LaCroix. It was just like, okay, yeah, this is this is it. So, awesome. is that easy. You. Awesome, well, thanks for your time. Okay, my name is Ann Torrey. I grew up in Northern Wisconsin, lived in the cities for about 30 years, making my living, and um, moved up to, back to Northern Wisconsin a couple of years ago with my husband. Okay, and tell us, uh, your Crane Lake story is, is an emotional one for you, but <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> definitely powerful. What brings you back to Crane Lake here this week? Okay, well, my dad, here we go. My dad has been fishing here for 40 years. He came with all his friends. He planned really awesome fishing trips every year. and They came back with all the stories, and sadly but surely, his friends died. You know, you get old, you yeah. get to a certain age, and. Uh, he hit a point where they were all gone and he didn't have anyone to come with anymore, so we started taking them. And uh, it's been four years since we've been coming, and he passed away this year, a couple mm -hmm. months ago, and now we're here. Awesome. Yeah. What, uh, you're going to fish, I mean, in tribute to him, but what, what <laughs> yes. kind of things are you looking forward to here on this opening weekend that well, you'll carry on the tradition? I uh, will go up the Echo River and hit the hit the area where the, wherever he meets the lake and try mm -hmm. to catch some walleyes yeah. we probably won't do it as well as he mm -hmm. did it that's yeah. for sure but uh hope to catch one or two in his honor awesome. <laughs> just well, kind of relive the memories yeah what is it about this area besides the memories with your dad that you love the most uh i like the wilderness you know it's uh i love where we live in northern wisconsin it's beautiful and wooded and lots of forests and lakes but you can get up to where there's nobody if you keep going. Yeah. That's what we really like. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for sharing. Yeah. Really appreciate yeah. it. You're welcome. So that's it for this week's um, kind of potpourri edition where we heard from a lot of different people with lots of special stories from the Crane Lake area. Um, we really appreciate you stopping by here. Um, hit the subscribe button if this is something that you are enjoying either on YouTube or on whatever podcast platform you listen to. Also, we're looking for people that might be willing to join us on an episode to tell their story or their history for that matter that they might have or their family might have with the Crane Lake area. Um, it could be anything from vacationers to locals to people who have maybe stopped by um, just one time. But um, we'd love to hear uh, different stories from all kinds of different people all over. And um, again, we appreciate you stopping by for this episode and we'll see you next time.